The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 645 this morning, some frosted flakes on the windshield in Galax. Thanks to Josie for today's picture of the day. That, uh, that's a pretty look right there. It looks pretty artistic. Uh, meanwhile, if you have any kind of pictures that you want to share with us, you can do so through pin it again, starting out with some frost on the windshield this morning. Temps 25 to 30. We'll need the jacket from start to finish. Clouds increasing in highs, mostly in the low to mid 40s, although some exceptions being places like Alta Vista and Danville. Pulaski 43 Roanoke 46 Martinsville at about 48 Hillsville having a hard time getting out of the 30s clouds increase during the afternoon. Here we are into the overnight hours and you see a light snow developing in portions of the New River Valley, maybe even as far north as the Highlands. Any accumulations probably an inch or less heading into tomorrow morning. Still some light snow showers, some flurries flying around, but dry air really takes over so that by 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, there's hardly anything to talk about. Hardly anything to talk about for Roanoke Lynchburg south side. You see a whole bunch of goose eggs there, but if you do see accumulation in the New River Valley be less than an inch, maybe briefly slick in some spots during the early morning commute. But again, as a reminder, if you have pictures, videos of any kind of snow, we want to see them. We want to share them on Virginia today. First thing tomorrow morning. If you're not satisfied with the snow that we've seen so far this winter, there is some hope. February on average gives us about a third of our annual snow. Even in March, sometimes we've had some big ones. Not tracking the big one just yet, but we are keeping an eye on the storm track heading into early next week. Storm system goes from coast to coast. That's your moisture source. High pressure to the north is your cold air source. So if we can get those two positioned just right, we could see some wet and or wintry weather late Sunday into Monday day of next week. Just kind of a potential right now. Nothing to get too excited about, but something that we're watching behind the scenes. For the New River Valley, we wrap up the week on a high note. Temperatures low to mid 50s through Groundhog Day. The weekend 45 to 50. Increasing clouds Sunday and at least the chance for a rain snow mix on Monday. That's the way it stands right now. Six days out. It's sure to change though. For the Roanoke Valley, 40s for highs today and tomorrow. And for Thursday and Friday, you're a little warmer. Not the 76 of last week, but 50 56 to 58 degrees. That'll do just fine. Still some cold mornings heading into the upcoming weekend with lows in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Highs about 50 to 53. A little bit of a cool down to start next week. Some long range indications showing some warmer weather on the way by the tail end of next week.